Hallelujah. All through while I prayed and prepared for this meeting, and I began to ask the Lord what He would have me share as we prepare the ground for His mighty presence. And the Lord answered me in just one word expectation. 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 Acts chapter 3, please. I'll just admonish us and then we'll get straight to the business of the night. There's so much God wants to do. So much God wants to do. Hallelujah. Please make sure you don't just become a spectator. There is no reason why you should go back the same way you came. There is no reason. There is no reason. Hallelujah. Flog it out with destiny in this place tonight. Agree and stand in for your family. Don't just be the one clapping for others as God is changing the stories of people. The woman is praying to God right now. And the Lord is telling me to attend to her before we go. Madam, please come. Yes, because you are the one talking to the Lord. And the Lord is saying, please visit this woman before we start. Madam, your moment of breakthrough has come. In the name of Jesus, please stand up. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a lot of hardship. This is what I'm seeing. Intense hardship. You have cried and cried and cried. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing. He's my uncle. James is your uncle. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's at Abuja. Doing what? He's, uh, he's working there. Why is he not helping you? They don't care for another. Because as I'm seeing you, madam, I'm seeing you in something that looks like a cage. And that's all I'm seeing. You are alone like in a barren land. There is nobody that helps you. Yes, no yes. matter, there are people in your life who can help you. Yes. But nobody helps nobody. you. Because as I'm looking at you now, I'm seeing a body without a face. Yes. Have you crying and crying out to God? Who did you come here with? My children, dad. Come. Because the Lord wants stand up now. Where are they? Children, please. Okay, they are small, small. Okay. okay, just guide them. I thought they were adults. The Lord is visiting you. They will not tell you you have fibroid, hmm? madam, because the pain that you sometimes feel when you wake up in the morning. Yes. Is that true? Yes. You wake up in the morning and there's severe pain. Yes, even here, right now. Here, here. In my and this is the formation of fibroid. Oh my God. I'm seeing it. Formation of fibroid. That's why you are here, madam. The Lord is going to touch you. Amen. Say, merciful God. Amen. This gentleman is going to be a very powerful man of God. The Lord is going to use him mightily. The Lord is going to use him mightily. I keep having this pain, this pain. I don't know what it is. I've been holding my stomach because it's been a very pulling effect. A pulling effect. God is still healing people of this stomach ache right now. Especially ladies. Don't worry, I will attend to you. Just have on this. Let's, I'm, still feeling, I'm still feeling this sharp pain and it will not let me go. You notice I've been behaving like a sick person on the stage. Father, where are these people? Please, wherever they are right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are in this congregation, may the power of God touch you right now. Even if you do not know that that is what is wrong with you, in the name of Jesus Christ, inside and outside, oh God, let your wind and your fire begin to touch people and set them free. Set them free. Madam, you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. You believe yes, sir. Jesus very can heal well, you? Very well. Right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe in him. 
Nobody should think you are a witch. Yes, why are they saying you are a witch? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Is that true? What I'm saying, yes. why should they be telling you you are a witch? You see, let me tell you something. This is a very good woman. Amen. But when the hand of the devil turns the destiny of a man, yes. even what is good yes. is considered to be evil. Yes. You will see this woman now, and there are people moving around saying she's a witch. This yes. is an innocent mother Amen. with children. Amen. You see that? Yes. The prayer that has sustained your family Amen. is you and your son. Amen. Amen. For he hears you when you pray. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. God will turn aside. Amen. He will turn around your captivity. Amen. I believe in the that. name of Jesus Christ. I believe that. I believe that. What do you do, madam? Don't worry. It's not about what you are doing. Yes, sir. It's about the hand of God. Amen. Believe that. Amen. Believe Put my hands. You'll be healed right now. Lay your hands there. Madam, look at me. I'm not asking you to guess. You will be healed right now. And you will check yourself because you have faith. Watch what happens to you now. I cause fibroid. You are a wicked spirit. You must let mama go now. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon that body right now right now right now right now go mama check yourself check now is there any pain? No, sir. Any pain? Check. No, sir. no, no be sincere. Check it yes, now. Yes. Is there any pain? No, sir. Anywhere. Do what you couldn't do before. It's gone. Right now. Completely gone. I cannot press this place. And if I lie down smart, I can't sleep. I have to. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. I lay my hands upon you and I take away this curse of darkness upon your life. Leave her right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, to open up the doors of the prison to them that are bound. I declare that this bondage comes to an end. And I call your helpers into your life right now. I call your helpers into your life. Hold my hands. Your prayers has been answered. The Lord is going to anoint you right now. An anointing will come upon your life. And you will step into a new dimension of grace. Lord, use him for your glory. Let him never be the same. Never, ever be the same. Eyes to see, ears to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ, eyes to see, ears to hear, by the power of the Holy Spirit, eyes to see and ears to hear. Come, let me pray for the remaining. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He does not have problem. What you were delivered from is what is making him behave that way. There's nothing wrong with the boy. He's not, is it not, is it not because he's stubborn? And he's disobeying you. It's not just about it's, it's not just about stealing now. Is okay. it not to pick steal your money? Uh, is that not what you are talking yes, about? Sir. Yes, what sir. was in him is what you have been delivered from because that's where it came from. It's Amen. not the boy. The boy Amen. is not a thief. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Verse 1. Are you there? Say amen. Allow Mike. Allow Mike. Where are you? You are praying right now and asking the Lord for a visitation. Please come quickly. I feel the rain. I 
saying for I'm raising you as a savior to your family I'm raising you as a savior to your family though the battle be fierce but there is grace for you though the battle be fierce but there is grace for you the weakness and the limitation in your life the Lord is taking away from you right now there is a circumcision that will bring you power in the name of Jesus I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring oil upon your head that's what is coming upon you right now oil upon your head the oil that makes you a warrior the oil that makes you triumphant in the name of Jesus shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life and let all that is left in him be that which is divine. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace. 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 Let us flow. I know there are many grace. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not everybody. Come. That lady. Is your name Grace? Come, run. You're the one I'm talking about. A limitation is being taken away from your life right now as I speak. The Lord is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing the Lord remove something from your body now. It's a limitation so that it does not destroy you. Lord, let it leave her now. In the name of Jesus, let it leave her right now. Now, it's like a cutting away. That's what I see in the spirit. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. Gabriel, you are wearing blue, something like a kaftan, a kaftan or something, blue. Gabriel, you came alone? Come, from where? Kaduna, all the way. Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a copper. You are a copper? Yes, sir. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's not by power, not by might, not by power, but it's by my spirit. Because the Lord is going to use you to end a lot of hardship in your family. You believe that? What did you study? Mass communication. Where do you think you are going to work? TVC. What? TVC. What's TVC? It's a TV station. You, you think so? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Not sure. They promise you a job? No. Prepare for a bank. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as you have shown me, let this come to pass by the anointing of the Spirit of God right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing an elder person, a lady. Nobody like that stayed no, with you. the first child. No, I'm not. An elder sister it may not necessarily be biological because God wants to speak to. I'm seeing a lady standing. Whatever it is, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that person who is standing, I'm seeing that is marriage issue. Ma huh? My auntie. That's what I'm telling you. That she I'm brought me up. Lady. She's the one that brought you up. Yes. That's why I'm saying, do you have an elder sister? She's not married now. She's married to a Muslim. Is that a marriage? 
was was that marriage no. do you call that marriage she has issues right now eh? she has a lot of issues i'm not now. even talking about it. she has issues what do you understand by marriage do i just come and stay in your house and then i say i am married that's not marriage huh and that thing is 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 demonic huh she yes. needs to be delivered marriage issues father in the name of jesus you reveal this open her eyes in the name of jesus open her eyes and set the family free in the name of jesus christ hallelujah deborah 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 please let's just let's just flow with what the holy spirit is doing no deborah ushers ushers deborah ushers she's if she's outside call her to come in please The Lord is saying that it's time for him to wipe the tears of your family. This is what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Is your brother here? He's not here. Who is here from your family? Nobody. You are not sure. Huh? Our father is outside. Please, can he come? The Lord wants to put an end to the captivity in this family. He's wearing white, white, white kaftan, white kaftan. Bless you, sir. I want to pray for you, sir, so that the devil will not put stroke in your body. Stroke. Because I'm seeing this side. And I'm seeing it affected. And then eventually you will not be able to lift your hand and your legs. And the Lord is saying he's bringing an end to captivity in this family. Stretch your hands and let's pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, step into this family right now. Let me tell you, it doesn't take time. In a minute, God can wipe the tears of a family. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Let me pray for you, Daddy. I curse every spirit of infirmity. And I set you free, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every limitation in your academics is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away right now. I'm seeing a woman. You came here. You are wearing glasses. You wore a traditional attire. You are a woman. You are fair. You are wearing glasses. Glasses. Is there someone like that, please? No, 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 no. I mean, there's, there's a woman. This is a, a married woman. You're wearing glasses. Is there someone like that, please? The Lord is revealing this to me. A married woman. Where is it? You're wearing glasses. Huh? Where are the glasses? Please begin to pray. Tell the Lord to visit you and visit your family. This is why we are here tonight. Please pray. Please, please pray from the depth of your heart. There is, there is a lady. Um, one of these ladies of incomparable, incomparable, very fair. You are light skinned. I don't know her name. They used to come and greet me sometimes. Very fair, light skin, incomparable. This incomparable beauty crew. Where are they? Come now. The Lord wants to end captivity in your family. Mama, the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that He will reward you greatly. He will reward you greatly. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. He will reward you. I need to pray for you. Your family is under serious demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where are you from? Venue State. Eh? Venue State. Venue State. Come. 
this is this is the spirit of death don't know stand up this is the spirit of death and we must pray and take authority over it father i cause that spirit now go by the power of the holy spirit on your life and that of your family members in the name that is above all names i command that attack to come to an end and god wants a deeper relation look at me god wants a deeper relationship with you he says i should tell you that you need to give him time and you need to commit yourself passionately to the things of god so, mama let me pray for you it's not just because of old age your eye issue is not just because of old age this is a demonic thing that's why God identified you even with the glasses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone came from Kano. 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 Someone came in from Kano. You're the only person from Kano. Kano. This is a family. This is not just one person I'm talking about. Please. Ah, this is a family you are not the only one that came in the name of Jesus mama I pray for you that the God of heaven do you have a daughter mama where is she she's in Abuja, she's in Abuja. Yes. is she married yes I have two daughters the first one the first one she's married have you heard from her yes she's doing well she's doing... you think so but she's looking for a job we have to pray for her because I've seen a problem with her marriage. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let Mama have no reason to cry because of what is happening to her children. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you. Mama, the Lord is renewing your strength. The back pain you used to have in the morning is gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kano, is there a family that came from? A family. I know individuals came from here. At least more than one person. Because this I'm seeing like a family. All of you came from Kano. I don't mean you are based here. You traveled from there to here. Well, I'll pray for you. Jesus. I'm seeing a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. We have to pray look at me that so that the devil will not kill your potentials i'm seeing books and i'm seeing a spirit sitting on it is what i'm seeing books and i'm seeing a spirit sitting on it father in the name of jesus let there be restoration i declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you see let me tell you tonight if things are not going right don't pretend they are going right fight it out here we are, going, are you getting what i'm saying please this is why god prepared this meeting don't come and waste your time the lord specifically kept speaking to me that tonight is dedicated for families no matter how you are doing well if your family is not doing well you are not fine are you hearing what i'm saying so don't let anybody just distract you and make it look like you are wasting your time Ella, come, let me pray for you so that your mother will not be told that she's sick. Lord, I destroy any yoke of sickness over her mom's life. In the name of Jesus. This lady, you that tied something forward. No, no, no. This one, yes, come. come. Just let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chigozier? Something that has, it's like an name has gozier in it i know there's ie gozier or something like that is there anyone like that whether I, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something but i'm saying a gozier the lord is asking me to pray for you and he's saying he's bringing restoration to your family in the name of jesus he's bringing restoration to your family bringing restoration to your family what's your name eh? Anosier. 
think I saw something was okay. Come, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina. All the way from Mina. What do you do? I'm a master student. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. It will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No. This is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer. You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone, a name that everybody knows you as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is the, you're all Jennifer? Who is from Kaduna? You are from Kaduna. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. You will leave her family right now. Because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation August 7th. But in the name of Jesus, we cancel it by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. There will be no death. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing healing. Healing to somebody in your family. Healing to someone in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your mother is from Kaduna. Your mom is from Kaduna. Who is from Katap? Zango Katap. Your mother is from Zango Katap. Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Adam, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name, Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name. Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are? Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes. Are you sure? If God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes. Because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says, I should tell you that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. You will go through series of spiritual experiences. Father, let there be a birthing. Hold my hands. Change him, oh God. The first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision. The pruning of the old. I cast the spirit that stops you from walking with God. Let it leave now. For he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin. I cast that spirit. Give way for the king to come into his life. Please bring him up. Lord, let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. 
put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Outside, there is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part, the power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah, said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior, said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and run with perseverance the race hallelujah stand behind her i'm seeing the power of god coming on her i don't know what it is for what the anointing of the spirit is coming strong upon her there is something god is taking out of her family no the usher not even the lady you usher god is taking away something out of your life Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. Darkness from your family. It must roll away now. It's lifting darkness from your family. and Adora come come quickly quickly the spirit of the Lord says I should tell you the feast of new things the feast of new things hold hands together the feast of new things the feast of new things the feast of new things ah he will wipe away that which is of the old and he will bring you into the new. The Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life a feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the Spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. 
change you. Change you. Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer, Zaria. Distractions in your life. Distractions. Your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you. There are distractions. Little things sway you. Your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. And come upon you with strength and power. Merci, Tila, come. Quickly. There are weights that must be broken. Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life, but there are weights, weights, weights. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around it will be with power again i will visit your family my dear may the lord anoint you it's an anointing that is coming upon you may the lord anoint you you are weak in the spirit i strengthen you right now by the power of the holy spirit You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, you took my pain away. Then you gave me joy You're my peace, my melody In the center of the storm You gave me a brand new song To sing to you That's why I will lift up my voice And say, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes Beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. 
there is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help him with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Eh? SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him. But in fact, this this is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child. Breakthrough has come. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you coming from? Samar, you believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God and I'm not talking of born again. Everything, total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be big, all for me. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all go there for prayer. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release our family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is on the Lord. Madam. I will, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for you. Let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. He will do mighty things for your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that He will do mighty things for your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. something to your spirit is an awakening that is happening to you it's an awakening I break the chains of limitation over you now I cast those chains I set them on fire in the name that is above all names may those chains be broken and I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac? He not shine. Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. 
the Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire, it's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite. Over. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that everything that does not name the name of Christ may it leave you. Come. This gentleman, you, it's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that had that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the Lord. last person and then just come my dear this lady no yes come you now yes let no man despise you for out of you will come a treasure let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels. That the excellency of power may be of God. Come hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. neighbor and say are you still here I just want to charge us a bit welcome everybody all those who came from far and near honor you glad to have you here you will never be the same now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fastened, fastening his eyes upon him with John said This is the key verse, verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Expecting to receive something. When he said, look on us, they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with you? Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. 
expect that sickness to leave your body expect that family captivity to come to an end expect the lord to visit you expect to step into new levels of the anointing expect that no matter what the challenge is the power of god can step into your life it does not take time it only takes the spirit of god for where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the lord is not there is no liberty i want you to know that the spirit of god is in this place tonight and the only message the lord asked me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant expectant lord i expect to be healed i expect that you will wipe my tears i expect that this situation in my life will change at once i expect it i expect it do you believe do you expect that god will do something in your life god is already visiting people you do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings talk less of the miracle service so i want you to know that there is enough grace there is enough anointing hallelujah right away we'll begin to pray and i'll just be moving in the anointing and god will minister to us please and please let your heart be expectant that's the only message the lord asked me to give us tonight expectation expectation expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered expect that that which you came down see don't look at the situation just be expectant be expectant the greatest enemy to expectation is your past your history your track record of failure your track record of the seeming shortcomings of god so every time you expect you say but i prayed before but i fasted before he says forgetting the things that are behind forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday i press everyone say i press i press hallelujah rise up on your feet we are going to pray just for two to five minutes that's the only message the lord asked me to bring to us tonight expectation let there be a a depth of expectation in your heart lift your voice and cry to god and say lord i am expectant pray Lord as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men I am expectant I came with a hunger I came for a touch I came for an encounter I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom. 
that you have never seen before you will make decisions that will accelerate your life accelerate ministry hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say lord the time has come for your grace and your power Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom. hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands we're starting tonight with individuals that god is giving them breakthroughs every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the spirit at the count of three just those individuals one two three now now take it take it take it take it now that breaker anointing i release it right now right now right now right now all the ones separated for breakthroughs right now inside and outside i release that breakthrough anointing that breakthrough anointing right now that breakthrough anointing right now shake it take it take it take it comes like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension i speak it i declare it i prophesy it and i release it take it from your belly out of your belly let it gush like living waters out of your belly that breaker anointing in the name of jesus out of your belly that breaker anointing breakthrough 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 I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. By 
by the breakthrough anointing I end the struggle right now I end the struggle right now all over the building I end the struggle right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, for out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. Let it flow. Let it flow. Living waters. Living waters. Living waters. New dimensions. Living waters. Skatata kapata. Rekete tekete. Bekata taboskata. Embrata kata. Shekete lekes. From your innermost being. From your innermost being, from your innermost being, from your innermost being, a busted thought of new wine, a busted thought of new wine, a busted thought of new wine, a busted thought. Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now. Marita, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that. But the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. 
I release your sisters that power that has held your marital destiny hear the voice of the Lord that power that has stopped marriage in your family I speak in the name of Jesus be loose right now 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 hallelujah now lift your hands I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit and so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness 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 there is someone who came here with that situation I don't know if it's a couple or somebody you are expecting a miracle desperately let me have that one person come out I'm going to pray for everybody right now but we need to break that yoke right now we need to break that yoke right now there are families tied down there are families tied down when you identify that person the person can come out lift your hands let me pray no the Lord wants the family to come out first come out first Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Because Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and he's leaving because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her, she didn't answer, so I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? friend come i need to pray for you may god bless you let's celebrate the friend hallelujah these are the kind of useful and relevant friends that god should bring in your life friend where are you may god bless you you're a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough do you believe your wife will come back yes sir. you want her back yes sir. i'm going to pray for you your wife will return back Amen. forget about what has happened god will give you two boys two girls Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in the electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I know I God has you. This marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money, you've lost a lot of people, even cars. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. But it's like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, Let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I cause that spirit. The name of Jesus Christ. 
I release your destiny right now in the name of Jesus I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness the Lord showed me two boys two girls and I release them to your life this power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now in the name of Jesus I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ friend come where are you from Kaduna too Zaria yeah. Zaria here yeah. you came alone yes no I came with a friend what would you want the Lord to do in your life marital breakthrough marital breakthrough yes what does that mean marriage or health in your marriage marriage, marriage. when this year you believe it yes or you're just saying it you have already spoken the word and it's happening pray for you. father you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to appoint unto them and in the name of jesus i declare that before this year runs out your husband comes to you and may you be happily married you will marry a godly man May you marry a blessed man, one who will love you and fear the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit. But the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people? In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this room. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this room. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front, back to the front. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. Right to the back. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight is not just for you. 
but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories i speak in the name of jesus by the authority of the lord jesus and i come under an apostolic anointing i bring every spirit under arrest and i command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of god's people in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands i see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted lord where are those people let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment sisters lift your hands a spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims not because of immorality or anything it's just the nature the compelling character of women i pray right now anyone here whether you know it or not that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of god i pray and stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let fire come upon that spirit let fire come upon that spirit come upon that spirit hallelujah the holy ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish there are families that start things you've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it lift your hands the finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now that grace to start and finish at the count of three 
is coming upon you for your destiny coming upon you for your family receive it right now one two three the finish that anointing breaking the course of delay the finish that anointing breaking the yoke of delay projects that have refused to finish projects that have refused to finish Hallelujah. I give the chase for the Hey, I hear the chase for it. Hey, I hear the chase for it. Hey, I hear the chase for it. Hallelujah. Now. For all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it hallelujah praise the lord i want you to believe that jesus still heals and he will heal you right now hallelujah we'll be very fast about it just give her a chair Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now thank you Jesus father let there be miracles I see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now, miracles everywhere. I 
see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Right now. Miracles everywhere.
seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. happened to him yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. let me tell you something it's not only settled I pray for you yes, that not only this will happen but God will use you to do this Amen. receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Baba tell him from today no witchcraft power no chance will paralyze and keep him again appreciate God go back to your seat God bless you oh, oh, oh.
heaven. What is happening to his hands? Cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. 
Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so strong, you cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise.
Oh, you say oh, you sons of God. Can we say it again? Call to him. He will run to He will lift our hands. Come now, pray. Praise His name, oh, you saints of God. Hey, oh, sing the Lord through God our strength. Oh, sing for joy. Call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you saints of God. One more time. If we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail your name, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we say, Oh, say, yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. I say yeah, yeah. I say yeah. You don't Baba. I say yeah. I say yeah, yeah. You don't win no. Jesus, I 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny these requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh god i pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. 
no matter how far you are inside and outside i want you to believe hallelujah everything that represents limitation in your life everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny i come in the name of the lord god the lord god almighty and i declare that in this month of may may that limitation be lifted up your life may that limitation be lifted up your life in the name of jesus christ I pray for you whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are whatever wrong advice whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid Makata katakata I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. We make miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make a miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make a you won't believe i've not even touched what i wanted to share as the message for tonight this year your life will change in the name of jesus christ this year your life will change by the power of the holy spirit it's true let those who laugh at you laugh Ephesians chapter 3 please let me have your attention I want to share with you a powerful revelation that God put in my heart for this meeting and then we will pray mighty God we bless you Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 the Bible says now unto him please look up the Lord has been pounding this scripture in my heart and I need to teach you and show you and make sure that you get it as a revelation now unto him that is able to do everybody say able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think everybody say ask or think one more time say ask or think that means there are two ways listen carefully your petitions and requests get to God number one is through your prayer by verbalizing it number two is through your thinking your paradigm also is a prayer request it sends prayers to heaven the Bible says God will do what you ask or think not ask and think that means when you are not praying and you are thinking you are still praying before God your mouth and your mind are also prayer warriors the only thing is that for many of us our mouths are better prayer warriors than our minds most times our minds pray nonsense and that's why you find out that the things that you desire you may not see the results that are consistent with your desires because there are two prayer warriors in your life one is your mouth let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart both 
be acceptable that means the words of my mouth can be acceptable but the meditations of my heart can cancel everything he is able to do listen carefully exceeding abundantly far above all i ask far above all i think it matters it matters that the word of god does not just penetrate our spirits alone the word of god must have an effect listen carefully you will never be a world changer you will never be usable in the hand of god until the word of god is able to influence your understanding influence you we're talking about fruitfulness you will never be fruitful this year just because a prophetic word came as powerful as it is you can limit god your mouth may be praying because you are told to pray but your mind continues to make your destiny unfruitful listen very carefully most of the miracles that we need i submit to you most of the miracles that we need are in the realm of our understanding and the realm of the mind much more than physical miracles we need a real miracle of a reconstructed understanding to be able to know God's perspectives this is the secret of victory this is how we win in this kingdom that's why the preaching and the teaching of the word is very important because they are the spiritual systems are located for bringing understanding when the word is preached and taught generally it brings you into a comprehension it influences your understanding and when your mind listen when your mind changes then truly your life will change it's true you are not truly free until your mind is free no matter what else around you is free if your mind is under captivity then you are really in bondage are we together let me show you something a revelation that god gave me for tonight luke chapter 4 we are reading five verses luke chapter 4 we'll start from verse 14 luke chapter 4 this is jesus now luke chapter 4 and verse 14 after his time of fast and prayer the bible says and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a fame of him through the region round about 15 and he taught in their synagogues you see jesus was a teacher he was a teacher he wanted to give people understanding 90 percent of his ministry was teaching 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 he built the disciples by teaching the impartations happened few times most of their encounters was the teaching ministry of jesus that's how they became apostles the bible says being glorified of all 16 let me have your attention now and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read he's about to read isaiah 61 now listen and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. And recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Just keep 18. See how many times. The various issues required preaching there were three main issues in the ministry of Jesus that the solution was hidden in preaching not doing preaching number one very quickly that every time you met a poor man the solution lied in doing something to his mind the Bible says he had anointed me to preach not just to give to the poor he had anointed me to do something to their minds because the issue whether it is some version say meek it doesn't matter no matter how you see it it still requires preaching so when you see someone in a financial predicament god's recommendation is that that person is not yet free until the word of god is able to do something to his mind otherwise that person will remain in bondage how true 
bless someone who is poor in his mind a thousand times his mind would turn his life back to look like his mind when it has to do with the poor the secret to really helping them is to camp them under the wisdom of God's word and the Bible says to preach the gospel to the poor the next sets of people that require preaching amazing amazing this is where the apostolic and prophetic ministry in many regards has failed woefully the next set of those who require preaching are those who are captive in need of deliverance it didn't say to conduct deliverance it said to preach deliverance that means much more than driving the spirit entity in their lives and around their situations jesus is saying they are not truly free until deliverance is preached to them listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call this deliverance through transformation that your mind is reoriented again to have spiritual understanding that keeps the door closed one of the things and and i thank god that this is a ministry that believes in the whole counsel of god shortly we are going to be praying casting out devils and just taking away these influences that stand the way of people but then the bible says that the journey to deliverance will continue being a cycle a helpless cycle to the point that it becomes a mockery until the preaching dimension not the laying hands dimension not the prophecy dimension the preaching dimension there is something that must be captured in your deliverance message that affects the minds not just the spirits and the bodies of men otherwise these spirits will make a mockery of you they will leave the people and return back because their mindsets have become strongholds the spirits have created fortifications around their thinking that will allow the spirit come back again are we together to preach deliverance not just to conduct deliverance i admit to you that it is here that the apostolic and the prophetic ministry in many regards has failed because of the charismatism that is around ministering to people seeing someone fall roll under the anointing you know when that happens it looks like it's an accolade on you as the man of god and so we enjoy it. no matter how many times you must go through that rigor i'm satisfied provided it helps in making me shine but the bible is saying by and large the delivery will be tired <laughs> permit me my english that person is not going to except if it's a fresh impartation and the person must know the new grace that is different from last week's falling there's a lot of mess in the body of christ demons continue to make mockery of our ignorance many people are permanent gateways for the entry and the exit of spirits it was jesus himself that carried out the demonology lecture he didn't give anybody he handled that course by himself and this is what he taught us remember when jesus talks you listen he says when a spirit leaves a man that means spirits can leave men we know that apostles and prophets we god has helped us in that area we know how to make spirits leave men but the Bible says that spirit will go through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge. Are we together now? And then the Bible says not finding a place of refuge. Here's what the spirit will say. Remember the person had been delivered now and he's jumping in the church and he's happy. Hallelujah. Doors are opening and the spirit is saying I'm coming back. The spirit is saying I will go back like the prodigal son. The prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. The spirit says, I will arise and go back to my house. He's calling the person who had been delivered my house. That means he's still, he's still laying claims. He comes back according to Jesus and finds the house swept, clean, but empty. Everybody say empty. Say it, empty. There is a law in the spirit that anywhere there is void, anything can fill it. When there was darkness and void the holy spirit came to hover around it swept clean through deliverance by casting out the devil but then empty because the word contents that will fill that person and close the door permanently is not there 
he has not received the preaching dimension of deliverance to let you know that now that this spirit has left you are we together now to begin to educate you into understanding what christ has done for you and then to help you to be able to stand your ground like paul would teach in the book of ephesians supplying you all the spiritual arsenals that can keep you safe now that you are free it's not there so the spirit will rouge through anything anger jealousy and gladly stroll back into the person unfortunately jesus said no spirit returns alone it will gather seven others more dangerous than itself and return to the person so that the end of that person is worse than the beginning if you're with me say amen this is why there are many temporal miracles you hear people say i received a miracle a spirit left me and then i started this and then the situation gets compounded and it becomes worse again because the person does not or he has not been educated to see the relevance you see let me tell you this come the moment you cast a spirit out of a person or out or around a situation spirits are not only in people spirits are also in situations situations are bodies that spirits can possess are we together now yes so that situation or that body the spirit leaves but the individual listen carefully the individual is here standing and his mindset has not been changed has not been altered the mindset becomes a gateway that spirit enters back and continues to influence the person and when this spirit study the man of god and they know that the man of god may be well-meaning he may be very anointed but his word content is very low they no longer will be afraid even before you cast them they'll just go out and you will think it's a sign that you are getting more anointed it's a sign that they have mastered your ignorance and created a way of insulting you they will freely go and wait immediately after the grace they enter the person and continue to go so you see the labor it looks like this warfare is endless you will continue to cast out demons and demons and demons and demons forever whereas there can be victory established are you with me now That's why you can have a particular dream or series of dreams or all kinds of attacks and then you can have a strong season where there is an emphasis on the ministry or deliverance ministry or something like that and then the demons leave and afterwards the patience and the interest to allow deliverance be taught you is not there and these spirits will return they are stubborn spirits so said jesus they don't leave and go away even satan left jesus for a while and came back came back through peter came back through judas until he thought he got jesus are we together the body of christ does not have the patience to allow the word of god let me tell you this if you are not teaching people you have to teach people the value of sitting to receive and to grow in the word the bible says let the word of christ dwell in you in all richness you're a man of god here please listen it is not so much about manifestation and rolling under the anointing and all of those kinds of things train your people to sit down and listen to the word of god and then train yourself to make sure you understand what you are teaching so that the people are not listening to what becomes poisonous to them if you're with me say amen when believers were saved in the early church they were not just left to go a few people were left without real spiritual follow-up and you saw what happened to them for instance in Acts chapter 19 the Bible says Paul having passed through the upper coast he came and he found certain disciples supposedly and then he asked them a question he said have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed and they said we've not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and then he said unto what baptism then were you baptized and they said unto the baptism of john and jesus corrected them and said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance so that you will believe on who that will come and then they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus and paul laying his hands upon them the bible says they were filled with the holy spirit and began to pray in tongues and they prophesied they were 12 in number all of them that was a new level for them 
when you just back down a little you read from chapter 18 the last six verses the bible talks about a man called apollos a great man he was an eloquent man fervent in spirit mighty in scripture the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john and then one day he came for a meeting and then aquila and priscilla met him and then they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly and then he become more useful to the body because he now began to argue based on the new light that he had you must pray and cast away ignorance the worst oppression is not demonic oppression that the spirit influences you is that when the spirit saps your desire for the word so that you do not have time and especially for we men of god it's possible to be reading the bible just because of the pressure i've been ministering right from saturday back to back every day up until yesterday dash in here to come tomorrow i'm back again to finish the conference you can imagine over 18 sermons within one week so it's easy i can be up and doing just studying the bible as though i have an interest but it may be that it's just for the formality of finding a sound and these spirits watch out for these kinds of things are we together you prevail as a believer when your understanding is altered by the word of god it gives you an appreciation for excellence it gives you an appreciation for diligence it gives you an appreciation for knowledge it gives you an appreciation for value you see the all-surpassing excellency of god's power it will make you need the holy spirit in your life it will damage ignorance from your life and strengthen you to be effective and remember the more your spiritual capacity is the more god can flow through you and from you to others this is how to disciple nations are we together this night so give us looks up four again let me finish up and then we'll pray mighty god so the poor need the gospel preached those in need of deliverance much more than the casting of the devil they need to understand the message that the bible calls preaching deliverance and then number three look up please to preach again the acceptable year of the lord king james says the acceptable year of the lord i think it's a new living translation that says to preach the year of the lord's favor the word acceptable year there doesn't just mean the day god has agreed uh -uh. it was a direct translation but it is the lord's favor to preach the lord's favor so those in need of favor is more than just laying on of hands it's more than just prophecy receive favor there is an a spiritual education a spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor is one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited that favor just happens when god wants to favor you but it's not true it's not true my brothers let me tell you this it is not true favor is merited there is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited but when you truly know what favor is and how it works you know that it is merited merited there does not mean everything even your obedience is done by the grace of god supplied you don't have the power to walk in it favor is not unmerited don't insult any man of god and don't look down on any man of god you hear teaching and saying is unmerited that's not what i'm teaching you you may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing but then i can tell you this if you are under this leadership and you want results in your life understand that favor is merited i've taught you this that favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to right proverbs 13 and verse 15 good understanding give it or bring it forth favor and it says the way of the transgressor is hard good understanding is like a woman proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 good understanding is like a pregnant woman she can give birth to a child and the bible names that child favor 
transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child and the name of the child is hardship hardship is predictable there is there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name unfortunately it's life that names it hardship that's the name of your child favor that's the name of your child So when you tell people favor is unmerited, they just sit down and say, okay, so what do I do? And then they just sit down and say, okay, God, just favor me. And nothing will happen. Most people have not tasted what the Bible calls favor. I've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough. Favor is only favor if it is repeated. If it happens just once in a while or once in a long while, that's breakthrough. That's not favor. Are we together? So when you need favor, Jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the Lord. Ah. I know there's more that's found in you. Be careful. Be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge and don't be ashamed to open yourself for change many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be i have absolute disloyalty for error i'm not ashamed when i find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life, the moment you find the truth, you see your loyalty, you feel like you are betraying your convictions. And we will never settle for less. I know there's more that's found in you. And I will never, yeah, will never settle for less. the same way many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you it may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time you see that by very well-meaning men and women of God from a very sincere heart that's why knowing God is powerful you need flexibility to know God because you will know things about him that will, it will be like deliverance from a cult now how do I come out of this knowing that all my life this is what I believed in I shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman fine smart man of God who for a long time held the view that look was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and I remember when he came to see me in my room then as soon as I saw him I saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him and then I was I was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him my brother you may need prayer. no 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 I don't need anything I'm okay I'm all right I'm fine I'm this I said I understand I'm not about to argue with you but please this is what no 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 this person came for counseling something is obviously wrong with his life and now I'm seeing that this is what is wrong and the gentleman will just not agree and then I pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him and this guy would get up like 15 minutes later shouting and manifesting and talking on under all kinds of things and then when I was done he got up I didn't look down on him I politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his Bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now I believe this I believe that do you cry when you buy a better phone do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone? Don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new, but truth 
it is just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience that's why you must have meekness and flexibility the goal is not to create argument and no 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 if i find out that what i believe now is wrong i will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is and in all honesty come and tell you i apologize i've seen better now i will not be ashamed to say it but my brothers and my sisters let me tell you god has granted us the grace to prove some things and these things we teach are not suggestions are we together favor will not come upon you just because you want it no the gospel must be preached you must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor and then when the teaching comes there is an empowerment is usually light and grace light grace light grace full of grace and truth 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 that's how it works when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm 20 now 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them these days this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in i told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god I went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by God's grace I tell you this I'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me I say it with all humility and so I read lots of books that propose so many things and I walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of God they would oppress me I would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like is happening to many of you I will round up the fast as I'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again I said what I mean what is this is that, will it be honest that I don't have faith eventually I found out what was wrong and God helped me in that area that's why I continue to trust God to help people in these areas may God may God grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. not just to say what you know this is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future may God grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. because the end of all argument truly is results consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained are we together and tonight the Lord wants to visit us like Benga shared is a buffet a buffet of fat things he has set the table before us for yours it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting God for but there is a level of favor listen God has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness Genesis 17 and verse 6 and I will make you exceeding fruitful he says and nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins 
one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the when the jealousy of god zooms on you you become a fearful wonder even to yourself it's true it's true you stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say god what are you doing it's not unmerited it is empowered but not unmerited there is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it and tonight i believe that in the name of jesus christ within the few minutes we have a very quick work to do tonight there are many of us seated here the truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life and it does not matter trust god that they will leave you there are others your miracle service began while i was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will come to you i will come to you you get up in the morning lord thank you and there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits and i'm not just talking finance finance is not the only expression of favor it's a needed one but not the only expression of favor when god lifts men to make your life easy you are trusting god for a new dimension in the spirit someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor let me sing this song again before we pray don't join me listen and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you it's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. Favor found in him. New levels of grace found in him. That you step into a meeting as a man of God and you know the principalities and powers yokes thrones dominions are about to be subdued it's not a suggestion you are not guessing you are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate god's word upon your life a dear man of god i met you know while i was ministering great wonderful man just yesterday i met with him and he said apostle after a meeting and he said sir i've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months i'm a man of god and i've been praying and i laughed because when something is within your power you see that within your power given to you by grace the same way a little child comes to say please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power there are some things after tonight it will be within your power it's soon within your power to speak and change things within your power and i told him i said let's pray i said this night you will have the answer 
and by evening he calls me and says apostle i almost cannot believe this even as a man of god that i was sitting down and this is the name this is that and i told him congratulations and he said what is this and i told him that this is called the power of god the power of god is a force it produces changes the same way you are sitting quietly now your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within a few minutes my brothers and my sisters I, I i never i never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in the twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in in a moment and you're waiting for days in zaria will be worth it completely just like that Please believe this. If you're a worker in this ministry, believe it. Don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive and you sit down and say, wow, I know. No, let's not cheat ourselves. Let's be sincere. God is able to do. Let me tell you, it is within his power to surprise you tonight. Not just to give you miracles, to surprise you. It is within his power to begin to alter systems and structures. This night, not tomorrow, this night. This night. The Bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of God given to him. When you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied, it's called pride. Elijah said, let him come, Naaman, Elisha, so that he will know not that there is a God in Israel, that there is a prophet in Israel. You would call that pride, but the result showed it. The same way you are a man of God now. And in a few minutes, if you are a man of God and you came here, I want you to just get ready. Because what will come on your life, it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you. You will walk in strange levels of glory. This is by the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? We're about to pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Results are not acts of pride and arrogance. They are acts of the grace and the mercy of God. Activated through knowledge. So God takes to a new dimension. We are going to do a very, we will trust God for a very quick walk. I took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle. The performance all of that it is just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word but what you are hearing now is it this alteration that is happening not just to your spirit but to your mind find out how many impartation services jesus conducted you will be surprised there were few times one of which he breathed upon them received the holy ghost but most times he camped with them for 40 days all he was doing was to teach but do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power the power of god flows through his word so when the word of god is coming now you are immersed in his glory you see that and the spirit entered me not just when he laid hands on me when he spake unto me i've taught you how the word of god works that the word of god is like a tree is carrying something you don't receive it just for the word's sake you receive it for what is on it if if i'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice you bring it on a tray is that true the first thing i receive is the tray i receive the tray with joy not because i need the tray i need the rice the word of god is a conveyor of the possibilities of god so when the word of god comes to you you are happy because of what is in it and on it he sends forth his word he sent forth his word his word of deliverance his word of of healing his word of lifting have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born he says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son that means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over your phone can beep and you'll see something that will keep you on your knees and say lord you just answered my prayer of five years in one day how shall these things be that's the voice of unbelief we're talking god here we're not talking a man god no wonder they said lord i believe 
but if what i call faith is nonsense help thou my own believer i need help and jesus helped him men of god let's trust god for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory let's trust god let's trust god the path of the just is as a shining light it shines ever brighter spiritually financially in grace in influence the path of the just shines shines don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance when people are ignorant they rub their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of god as though you are sinning so if you open up yourself to be blessed financially they they give a body language that suggests that you too you are joining them in this thing receive the whole counsel of god it is beneficial for all of god to be seen in your life you embrace the power of god and hate his resources the pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life i receive the whole counsel of god i receive the whole counsel if there is wealth i receive it if there is wisdom i receive it if there is grace i receive it everything that is on this table sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything little of what everything and we will never see. now you join me we know there's more that's found me And sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never sell for us. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never sell for us. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god you're trusting god for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting god for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe you're trusting god for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it you are trusting god for a change of results lord thank you i have evidences in my life but i need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify the supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray, Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be 
a session of prophetic deliverance i'll tell you what that means i'll pray for people i'll minister but there are times that i'll just speak the word the case and then god will deal with that number two i if we have the time the lord may speak to one or two people and then number three we'll take time and minister the healing power of god to the sick it's very important and then number four we'll have the time to pray on our requests and then i prophesy and speak over everyone and that will be it for the night the, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that i say this to you especially for those of you who are coming for the first time so that your heart can be open it's going to be a flow all through and i want you to participate with your heart let your heart be open by the way you can stand in for your loved ones and then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world there's no distance truly in the spirit you can receive you can believe and then god can make this true in your life hallelujah praise the lord there is a grace that i found myself releasing upon the body of christ in this season and that's what we're going to start with the lord i don't know god has been doing something in my life since january this year started is the grace for speed this is what i want to release upon our lives all through my meetings in lagos for every meeting the lord has instructed me to release that grace listen no matter how many times you've heard me pray it i like for your heart to be open there is real speed that can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like elijah are we together now i want to i, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three i release that anointing in all the overflows right now one my god two three receive that grace right now receive that anointing everywhere inside and outside i release that grace that grace for speed life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of ahab in the name of jesus christ i release speed speed inside outside i release speed people are receiving that grace strange speed speed in ministry speed in your career receive it god is releasing it upon you no more delays no more delays by the spirit of the living god no more delays online offline localized here i stretch my hands and i prophesy that grace right now people will begin to run by the spirit i'm seeing it in the spirit and energizing of the spirit is coming on men and women speed speed i prophesy speed 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 outside overflow one overflow two overflow three by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace i crush delay i crush delay i crush delay I cross delay, I cross stagnation, remaining in one position. I judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace. But now over families, not just individuals, you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation. I stretch my hands right now. At the count of three, may God use you as a point of contact to supply speed to your family members. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive that grace. Families, families, speed, speed to the north, speed to the south, speed to the east, 
speed to the west in the name of Jesus speed to the middle belt I release you I release you I release you Kabakate shalikata enteleketos kaparakato shekete embrekete kete 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 speed in the name of Jesus I cause every power I cause every force by this grace and by this unction I release speed The Lord is showing me a purple robe. I'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and I'm seeing it come on people. Not everybody, but there are specific people. And I believe purple in, in, in scripture is symbolic of royalty. It is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people. Lord, I don't know where these people are. They came from miracle service, but I stretch my hands. May the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Men robed in royalty, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, beauty for ashes. for ashes beauty for ashes pay attention to what God is doing beauty for ashes hallelujah I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord and I'm seeing people the right legs being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and i'm seeing on it reproach that's what the lord is seeing reproach and the lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach it may not be for everybody but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god that everything that represents a reproach in your life tonight here and now i release by the supply of the spirit the grace and i cause that reproach now I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. My God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ, businessman, I cause that reproach now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical I'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now I'm seeing the Lord is leading me to stand here just this room and I'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke of barrenness. I stretch my hand. Whether it is for you or your family members, I'm just doing what the Lord is asking me to do. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. That if there is anyone within this role, among those standing, that is suffering any kind of barrenness, I come against it right now. I declare become a joyful mother of children, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to do something serious here. Now, this is an apostolic ministry and we are word-based. So whatever it is you do not understand, you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the Lord. 
um, what what God I hope that you don't find it offensive God is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people this is an instruction that's why I'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me you will be surprised to see what happens I will not ordinarily do that no we, we represent we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing but we are in a season of fruitfulness and God is giving me an instruction so I'm just going to do exactly what God is asking me to do just to be able to hold something and release that grace and that you have the grace to receive you'll be surprised to see what happens father I've obeyed you in charge like foolishness I stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction Lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of Jesus Christ I place a grace upon your life. You may look weak, but in the name of Jesus, let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. Let there be supplies from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies. Don't say you don't need it. 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 In the name of Jesus, let it give you rest to serve the Lord. Let it give you the fortitude to stop begging. In the name of Jesus, and it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Financial dimensions. It is first spiritual before physical. Listen to me, it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Let your faith come alive. There are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. Don't come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure. Please, please. I'm praying from my heart. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever. Are we together? Let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters. When God begins to speak over your life in an area, it's because he has seen what is going to befall men. And like an ark, he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety. Many people in this year will languish financially. I'm telling you this. Listen, there will be a lot of cries. That's why God is releasing this grace. There will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack. Please, again, I plead with you. I plead with you in the name of Jesus. Do not be under any pressure. Listen, they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money. I'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so. I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so. We are committed to helping you experience God. We are not playing games with anyone's destiny. But I'm saying it again, that there are people entering strange realms. This is more than a miracle alert. This is not miracle alert. This is a realm. It's a, it's a dimension in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I stand by this anointing again. And I shift you. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step into this realm of surprise. Step into this realm of grace. For your family. For your family. For your destiny. Step into this realm of grace. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found me. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. I know 
that's more than found me and we will never say we'll never settle for less we know that's more than found in you hallelujah I'm seeing a woman outside the Lord is showing me a woman outside The power of God is coming upon that woman right now outside. I'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows. Her name is not given to me. But I'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing. A very strong anointing will come upon that woman. And the Lord is telling me that he's bringing upon people the spirit of revelation. Is, is a dimension of grace i want to pray that prayer right now father in the name of jesus christ i don't know who they are i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands i'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people i release that grace right now help them please i release that grace right now blessed are you O oh lord Blessed are you, O Lord, and it is holy. Something is coming on you. But I don't By wisdom, O God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the sea. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to go. But I can't deny my mind. I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of jesus i release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones i don't care where the job must come from but i decree and i prophesy these jobs come to you speedily in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Listen. Alamosa zebra has cut a balanata. Le carusia da. Le crosca zebra has cut a My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now, I release that grace, the healing anointing. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace, the healing anointing. Receive it for ministry, receive it for ministry. The healing anointing outside overflow. One, I've seen the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace, the healing grace, the healing grace. anointing receive it you need it in the name of jesus so you can take the healing power of jesus to the nation 
In the name of Jesus Christ, you are carrying that grace bodily. You are carrying that grace, evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people, you will bring them out now. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Lift your hands. We are going to pray. We are going to read you. These spirits. There are forces that stand the destinies of people. Listen, please. Especially if this is your first time coming. Ah! I'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up I'm going to count three listen for those people please I want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please i want you to believe it at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place i decree and i prophesy that at the count of three as you shout jesus May the fire of God bring a separation between you and those influences. One, get ready. Two, three, shout Jesus. Come out of them now. I cast every devil in the name of Jesus. And they shall cast out devils. I command the spirit influences behind situations, behind circumstances. I command in the name of Jesus that they come out of their hiding place. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Spirits of ancestry, territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position, that refuse to let them rise. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a sword, and I know that sword is the word of God. I cast by that sword, let there be a separation that every force tying anyone's destiny. You're going to shout Jesus again at the count of three. Be ye lifted, all ye ancient gods. One, two, three. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Release their destinies. You have the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. These hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit, many of you will feel physical fire on your hands. There will be a strange deliverance. That's why anything you do does not work. No matter if it's a business, it will fail. If it's a relationship, it will fail. Anything you lay your hands, there is a spirit that steals your joy. But right now, I challenge and I attack that spirit. Let the fire of God, right now at the count of three, separate you from that influence. One, two, three. Let them go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Get up. 
for others until you come and then something strange just happens all those under the anointing here i arrest this spirit and at the count of three every devil you will put your load and every trouble you have brought to this destiny and go i speak as one sent by the anointing at the count of three leave one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so glad to pray for the sick. Who is Janet? Janet, Janet, I hear a name, Janet. Janet, there's, there's no time we have. Janet, please don't enjoy anybody. Are you Janet? Stand up. I had the name Janet. Please don't tell lies, don't embarrass yourself. If you are not Janet, go back. Janet. Where are you from? In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I will pray for you. Huh? Look at me, look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. Just lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor in the name of Jesus I decree and I prophesy by the Spirit over you 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 All of you standing here, for time's sake, I'm going to pray for you. 
one of you um the power of god is going to come on one of you the moment that happens i'll pray for everybody i'm seeing one person one of you the lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person not only is god bringing personal spiritual revival to you god is opening doors of opportunity lord where is that one person i decree and declare when that one person is identified and then i just pray for all of you in general i'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are and the lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter and just around that vicinity of the media i stretch my hands may the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus like a mighty rushing wind rest upon the individuals within that vicinity in the name of jesus that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy i'm back to you people in front in jesus name i decree and declare whoever that one person is may that anointing and that grace come upon you you will never 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 be the same the power of god will come upon that one person the moment that happens then i'll pray for everybody it's just the instruction god is giving me in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands towards all of you by faith and in the spirit i declare for whatever reason it is that god brought you out here i declare i place the word of god upon your situation and in the name of jesus i declare that you return with testimonies in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady wearing dark come god bless you you can go back to your seat all of you hold my hands hold it with both of your hands where are you coming from asaba. from asaba yes, the lord is saying i should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory Amen. Oh, this will be the beginning of your days of glory step into it by the spirit in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same we raise your banner we shine your light so we see in honor of you lord we raise your banner we shine your light so ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are in the name of jesus may the fire of the holy spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online let there be complete emancipation for such people in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear this lady wearing pink lift your hands Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I'm seeing the Lord take something out of your body. We're about to pray for the sick. But the Lord is taking something out of your body. That's why I told you to shout that name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, our time is gone we are going to be very very fast are we together um if you are trusting god listen carefully whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three if what you have please listen if what you have is a terminal disease a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence are we together like a death sentence you know what i mean i don't have to mention names please whether you're in overflow one two three be fair be honest i will want to minister by myself to you now number two those in here you can come out and you're trusting god for healing for you or for your loved ones overflow one please to your projector stand 
overflow two same thing to your projector stand overflow three to your projector stand so if you do not belong to this category that i particularly requested to come please god is here make sure you are sincere make sure you are honest i like all of you to come stand i'm about to minister and there will be men and women of god scattered across those by the roadside i don't know what overflow that will be let's say an extension overflow four you will join overflow two and then there will be men of god ministering by the spirit please because of time you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah praise the lord in the name of jesus i decree and declare that together as a team under the anointing of the holy spirit overflow one overflow two overflow three and those online we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now as as we pray for you worship team please help us whilst we are doing that how many of you have your prayer requests you have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening usher's pr department please join them uh, and then if, if if there's a need for that maybe the protocol department can help let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately we'll be very fast please um dear people of god let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um finish up on time blessed be the name of the lord for those of you standing here i want you to believe there is a god in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in jesus name god bless you um i will just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly those online connect by faith stretch your hands here and let's pray father we decree and we declare we just have a minute for this in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands and prophesy Libras Kadabrando Shari Katosia brother. The same way we are standing on these requests in the name of Jesus. This is establishing your dominion above every challenge, above every situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Rado Zakando Shalakos Kadabre Seneko Shalabras. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, every impossible situation here, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. We turn it around, believe, believe, believe. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. This is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us. A representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have, we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this. And I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness, that this that you have dropped here before the Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you have brought it before him, it will never, if it's a tragic situation, it will never return to you again. And if it is a request that must appear in your life then i decree and declare i don't know how it will happen like the prophet said you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water i prophesy i decree and declare 
in the name that is above all names by the god of all grace your answer will find its way to your life even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you may my god make it happen for you in the name of jesus christ and i prophesy to you that these egyptians you see today that you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ for many of you even before this month is over in the name of jesus you will tick your list one by one one by one one by one one by one in the name of jesus we decree it so by the power of the holy spirit we decree it so by the blood of the lamb we decree it so by the word of god we establish it it is done in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you now this will be um the first time we are doing this in a miracle service for the year why do i round up the services with a prophetic word because i believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of god comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word people's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again let me tell you do you know that i listen to the miracle service messages myself and i receive all the prayers from the man of god just because i'm the vessel being used by god does not exempt me from receiving too i listen to the messages and god is my witness i follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely are we together now so believe this and you will see it work in your life it is only what you believe that will work are we together favor like never before in the name of jesus beginning from this night may he follow you like a shadow follows a man I say it again, favor like never before from tonight. May he follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange favor, strange favor, activating possibilities in your life. Strange favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every overdue issue in your life, an issue that has stayed long, beyond necessary in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life may my God the God of all grace establish and settle you in every area in the name of Jesus Christ every long-standing issue comes to an end now Everything that misrepresents you before your helpers, the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you, there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you, something happens around your life. In the name of Jesus, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, it comes to an end now. I pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not Sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gain say nor resist I decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom you see this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of God will be evident in your life 
I stretch my hands. Let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now. Let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now. If you are in ministry, let there be a baptism of that anointing now. For every leader here, let there be a baptism of that anointing now. Everyone due for promotion, your place of work, or your standing in for your, your loved ones, I decree and declare, we announce and we establish the arising in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year. You will die during election. You will die during this and that. A crisis will happen and you will be a victim of this. I silence the voice of that spirit now. I decree and declare, whether by road, whether by air, whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death in the name of jesus may you be too late for tragedy if it will cause shame you will not be found there if it will cause pain you will not be found there in the name of jesus christ I decree that whatever it is you're involved with, whether it's your career, the works of your hands, your business, whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence, to bless people and to empower you. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. In the name of Jesus, may grace be multiplied upon it. Some of you at the beginning of the year your prayer life is already down it's too early your word life already down no appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil. There is a difference between slumber and sleep. One of the differences is control. There are some of us, even if you sleep by two in the afternoon, you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up. It's a spirit. I curse it from your life. Now. You will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ god has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to see this they prosper through the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet and zechariah the son of Edo. i decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow in the name of jesus christ no one connected to this grace no one connected to this vision goes down financially and i pray for you those of us who have little groups ministries fellowships that were helping and building other believers and for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level nothing new nothing fresh i decree after this miracle service, step into a new order of spiritual operation. Whatever needs to be restored in your life before February, restoration, restoration to bring back, I command it to your life now in the name of Jesus. We are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of god may you be far from that environment 
may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment whatever it is that you have asked the lord that i have not mentioned here but is a desperate desire in your heart i release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me in the name of jesus let it be turned to your testimony two more prayer points may the spiritual fire on your altar the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we fan your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies May your loved ones have the same experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we glorify you. We bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm walking in the reality of every prophetic word. Thank you. I receive every grace. I receive every word in the name of Jesus except if you're under the anointing I like us to honor in one minute we will always do this we're a ministry that believes in soul winning we believe in giving people an opportunity to meet Jesus and um, even though our time is gone necessity is laid upon us to give someone an opportunity to find God's saving grace tonight let's minimize distraction please and so for all those here sitting overflow one overflow two overflow three uh, the roadside those connecting online and those in the main auditorium you are here tonight and the Holy Spirit is ministering to you that you need to make this year different you need to give God an opportunity to start afresh with you could be that you have given your heart to the Lord but you need that assurance you truly need to rededicate your life to say Lord I'm handing over everything we have just a minute or two for you if you are sitting in overflow one two and the roadside and in here I would request you to come just stand in front here and then those at overflow three for the sake of time and distance i would request that you just walk to your projector stand and then those following online you can just follow me as i lead you through this prayer two minutes the lord is speaking to you please summon the courage arise let's encourage them make your way to the front god bless you those coming from outside please hurry up clear the way for them please god bless you god bless you there's nothing compulsory in the kingdom but the benefits are worth the while make your way quickly someone outside is saying apostle i want to come but i'm a bit ashamed there's nothing to be ashamed of make your way run to jesus if you're coming please come quickly 
there are contemplations happening in your spirit while you are sitting down you know you need to be here the devil will not ask you to be here the fact that there is a prompting to be here is a sign that the holy spirit is ministering to you win that war get up from your seat and come apostle what if my colleagues see me it's good they see you so that they become witnesses of your transformation make your way quickly we have just one more minute for you for those of you clapping in the name of jesus this is how many will honor you because you are committing yourself to encourage those who are coming to jesus hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i understand that in the day and age that we live in it takes a lot of courage to be very vocal on a decision like this we live in a time where people pride themselves in being sarcastic they pride themselves in laughing at others especially when you are doing something spiritual jesus said whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away i honor and i truly celebrate all of you for the courage to stand even in the presence of everyone May I request that you just lift your right hand as a sign of surrender and repeat this truthfully after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I hand over my heart, my mind, my body, my life to your Lordship. I declare that you are Lord of my life I declare that I exchange my life for your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken over my life now and forever amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you for these precious ones they have made a decision for many of them the first time for many of them securing their eternal destinies i decree and i declare that the grace that helps people to stand to thrive and to excel in this kingdom may that grace come upon you i open you to the ministry of the holy spirit and the ministry of the word that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i plant in you tonight a fresh hunger and passion for the things of the spirit in the name of jesus thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media